Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. Shabbat Shalom. And this is a, another news article, was recently. Uh, this is from uh, ArabNews.com for In the News on November 15, 2022. And the highlight of this news article when it reads, U.S. official says Russia missiles hit NATO members of Poland killing two. The Associated Press release. And it says uh, from Reuters, uh, November 15, 2022. And a Washington, uh, a senior U.S. intelligence official said Russia missiles crossed into Poland, killing two people. The Associated Press reported on Tuesday. The official spoke on the condition anonymity uh, because of the sensitive nature of the situation. The Associated Press reported Reuters could not immediately confirm the information. The Pentagon says that it could not confirm reports that missiles have crossed into Poland near the Ukraine border because, you know, the tensions are definitely still continuing to heat up with the Russian-Ukraine situation. And I believe there was a new report came out, too, uh, from RT, uh, Russia has sent another huge amount of barrage of missiles striking uh, Ukraine soldiers in different parts of uh, Ukraine, you know. So these tensions are definitely heating up. And I believe it was another story uh, over there in Moldova. Moldova, I believe they had like a power outages of the citizens in that region as well, too due to the heavy missile strikes from Russia with the current uh, Russia-Ukraine situation. So, hey, this, this thing is heating up. It says, um, but uh, uh, I just want to add a note to that, but continue on with the story of the news article. It says, we are aware of the press release, I mean, the press reports allegedly, allegedly that that's why, you know, the scripture says wars and rumors of wars. It says allegedly that uh, two Russian missiles have struck a location inside Poland near the Ukraine border. I can tell you that we don't have any information at this time. According to those uh, reports and are looking into this further Pentagon spokesperson, British General Patrick Ryder told in a news briefing. And this makes a lot of sense, too. And if this report is 100% true and accurate, you know, uh, you got to keep in mind, too, uh, you know, Russia, they deployed it, uh, I believe, like a couple of uh, ships and tanks, I believe, in that region near close to the NATO border. You know, Vladimir Putin made that statement a couple of, back, a couple of months back, you know, if you know he feel like his uh his allies and his military men being under threat by NATO, you know he's gonna send that clear message, you know, and hey, it might go back along with that once he made that statement, you know. So ain't no telling, you never know, you know, because you know NATO is uh is an allegiance as allies with the Western countries, with the United States, and Ukraine as well, too, you know. And it says, we are aware of the press reports alleging that uh, Russians missiles have struck a location inside Poland near, because I believe um, over there, Eastern Europe, you got, you know, uh, soldiers deployed it over there like 
uh, United States soldiers and many other soldiers from different countries as well, too. You know, that's right close to the NATO border. You know, Poland and all that, which is, you know, you got NATO members in that region over there as well, too. So, yeah, definitely keep that in mind. It says, we are aware of the press reports allegedly that uh, two Russian missiles have struck a location inside Poland near the Ukraine border. I can tell you that we don't have any information at this time to coordinate, if I pronounce that right, those reports and are looking into this further. Pentagon spokesperson British General Patrick Reiner told a news briefing Father fires in Poland said on Tuesday two people died in an explosion of the Peradol, a village in eastern Poland near the border with Ukraine. It says Publish, uh, Polish Radio ZET reported earlier that two straight missiles hit Prezidol on Tuesday, killing two people without giving any more uh, details. Polish Prime Minister Ms. Ms. Mokwaski, if I pronounce his name right, has called an urgent meeting of the Government Committee for National Security and Defense Affairs, uh, the government spokesperson said on Twitter. It says, Russia rain missiles on cities across Ukraine on Tuesday. Yep, just like I mentioned, a huge uh, barrage of missiles. Uh, Ukraine on Tuesday, and what uh, Ukraine said was the heaviest waves of missile strikes in nearly nine months of the war. Echoing a pattern of recent weeks of Moscow lashing out Far from the front after battle losses, right? Cause after they lost that uh, that huge uh, retreat, because they had used uh, shellings, attack shellings attacks on Ukraine after their deploy of their military soldiers in that region. I believe like a couple of days ago, so they had retaliated back with a rise of uh, shellings attacks. And a few days later, now this is reported, you know, they're using a whole barrage of missile attacks. They said this haven't been the largest missile attacks from Russia since the nine months of the first start of the, uh, you know, the uh, invasion of Ukraine, because Russia called it as an operation of invasion of Ukraine, you know. So, hey, these uh, rumors of wars are definitely heating up, you know. And this news was just this news just broke out not too long ago, you know, of uh, according to, you know, U.S. officials says Russia missiles hit NATO member Poland, killing two people from the Associated Press and from Arab News on November 15, 2022. So I'm going to bring out that uh, rumors of war. So. Salaka. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. And it reads, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Right, because we're seeing the increase of uh, commotions of wars between the nations of different kingdoms, a cross border conflict between the nations and kingdoms, proxy war, endless wars. Wars and rumors of wars are heating up, and that's what we're seeing on a daily basis, you know. And it's starting to increase now so more than ever. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. We're also uh, seeing this as well, too, Salakia.
Let me go to the next verse. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and upon the, and in the stars. And upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the seas and the rays warring, right? Because that's what we're seeing, you know, the stress of nations, of nations increasingly going against one another, uh, up worlds and the people in the world, nations rising up against nations, kingdom against kingdoms, you know, economic wars, rumors of wars, conflict wars, border crisis wars. And that's what we're seeing. And it's going to continue to increase, you know, of this news article right here, you know. And we're going to see many more of these things, you know. Because because uh, the war in Russia and Ukraine is going to continue to intensify and they're going to increase. Just like the wars over there in the Middle East is going to continue to increase. Now, so more than ever. 144 call uh, Yah Bashamel Shah. But yeah, uh, hey, we definitely gonna see these uh, rumors of wars heating up. We're gonna start seeing wars increasing throughout this uh, whole earth. And that's what we're seeing. These rumors of wars are increasingly are heating up, you know, now so more than ever. So with that, you know, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying on the Shabbat through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yah Shah. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makarkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom, Shabbat shalom, and above the ball.